animation um, can tend to be a lot more linear. You start off, you make storyboards, um, then you do layout, then you do animation, you do lighting. Everything kind of tends to have a very sort of like, you could literally take a project, you could look at the very early on boards and you could be like, okay, there's this many shots, there's this, you know, you rate them on how complex they are. And you could pretty accurately predict how big of a team you're gonna need for how long, when people are gonna ramp up, when people are gonna need to start working on another project um, with a pretty high degree of accuracy. Um, and things tend to flow in a very modular state. We're like, okay, we've got the we've got the character rig set up. These can go to the animators. We, you start unlocking very specific things for specific people. Um, whereas game development tends to be a bit more, everyone can be in there all at once at the same time working on stuff. There's also a lot more, you've got to get things further along um, in the design process before you know whether they're going to work or not. Um, particularly for gameplay, there's a good number of things that like, until you can actually play it, you don't know whether it's going to be fun or not. Whereas in, in film, a lot of times you can write the script and if, you know, the writer director can look at it and be like, hey, yes, that's going to work or no, that's not. Um, so there just tends to be a, a lot more work that you need to done before, to, a lot more work that needs to be done before you're 100% certain that 